In this video, I'm going to import sound file metadata, also called tags. Now, let's say you've just gotten your Music One library. It's totally empty. This is an empty library here. And we're going to import from uh, MP3 tags. So we open the Import menu, top left-hand corner of the screen, and select Import from Sound File Tags. Now we negotiate to the folder on our computer where the sound files are. And um, Music One can import one folder at a time. You see, I've got a lot of different music folders right here. And I just want to import uh, a couple of them. A lot of these songs are just personal faves. You know, they're not things that I'm going to use on my radio station. I am going to use pop. So let me click onto the uh, pop folder. And all of the songs that are in the pop folder show up. There are 190 files in here. These first files up at the top that are empty, that is because they do not have any uh, proper tag. There's nothing in the title field or the artist field on those MP3s, and there's not anything that I can do about it here. What I'd have to do is go into, uh, go into the folder with a tag editor and literally tag those things, and then uh, they'll show up. So I want to select everything in this folder. Except uh, there's a couple of dupes that I don't want to uh, select. So let's see, there's two copies of the Don Henley song there. Actually, three copies of the Don Henley song. So I click on the first one. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Hold down the Shift key on the keyboard. And click on the very last song. Now, that Don Henley, let me go up here and show you what I can do with this. I don't want to import all of these. Ah, there's an extra one by uh, War, too. So I'm going to hold down the Control key on the keyboard and deselect War and deselect a couple of these Henley songs. Now, with everything selected that I want and unselected as I chose, I click Import. Music One has imported 180 of the 184 tracks. When the import is complete, we click uh, Done, and then click on New Songs, and all of the songs have been imported into New Songs. Now, I want to create a category for this. New, a music category. I'm going to name this Pop. Now then, there's my pop category, there's nothing in it. I select new songs, and I scroll down to the bottom of the stack. I hold down the, the mouse and click on the very last song. Now I left click and hold, and drag these songs to my pop category. And there they all are. Now I want to import another folder. Import, sound file tags. It goes back to where it was before. Double click on the master folder, just above that. And I want to import, this time, a folder called Oldies. Double-click on Oldies. And it takes a while to scan. Depending on how many songs you've got in your folder and how fast your computer is, how much RAM you've got, it might take a while for this to come up. But just wait. I've, I've seen it take as long as three minutes or so for a station that had eight, 9,000 songs in the folder. Select the first song. Scroll all the way to the bottom, hold the shift key, click on the last song, and click import. It's done. Now, there are 490 tracks in this folder. There are 482 songs that were imported. The reason for that is duplicates. Music One will not import two songs with exactly the same title and exactly the same artist. So when it came down to Yellow Bird by Arthur Lyman, it imported the first one and it ignored the second one. I'm done. I go to Category, I select New, Music, and I'm going to name this Oldies. Okay, click on New Songs, click to select the first song at the top of the list, scroll to the bottom, hold down the Shift key, click on the last song, now left click, hold, drag all those songs into Oldies. And there they are. After you've done an import, you're going to go to the track menu and select shuffle. Put a check in each of these bag, uh, each of these boxes. Click OK and it shuffles and separates the artists. Shuffle this category. Done. Let me give the category a color. And click on this next category and give it a color also. What I'm doing is I'm clicking in the little gray screen right there. And select the blue for that one. Click OK. The blue doesn't show up immediately until I click away to some other screen and it asks if I want to save changes. And yes, I do. And then the blue comes up. 